We are Rob and Ali, sharing our passion of all things cruising and travel. Stick around as we take you on a tour of the Quantum of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's big ship. Big ship? <laughs> it's not the biggest. <laughs> the biggest ship in Australia at the moment though. It is. For over four and a half thousand people, something like that. Um, it's beautiful and it's huge. Yep. So we're going to start off on deck three. Uh, we're going to start off at the, at the back of the ship or the aft of the ship. Um, where there are two of the main dining room restaurants, Grande and Chic. The Grand Restaurant. Now, we did take some videos of this in the evening, but um, it's quite dark in the evening. The camera didn't pick it up too well. Lots of people, but I think we'll get a better experience um, when it's empty um, and see the size and the actual decor. Isn't this stunning? It's got a real... It, it's just... Decadent is the way I would describe it. Almost um, Art Deco, but not, but not quite. It, it's sort of, it's just so glitzy and beautiful. Okay, so let's go and have a look in chic across the way. And hidden away everywhere are little gems of, of art, um, like on a lot of the ships. So this is the chic restaurant. Chic. Very different as we walk in. And again, this is a very light um, dining room. This is huge as well. It goes kind of round the corners there, um, over to the side. Now, one of the fabulous things we have noticed on this ship and the restaurants is they have the ability to have a lot of big tables. And they have the tables we saw one last night and they pretty much took up the whole of that, that inlet there, which is just fabulous. And it's the same in the um, upstairs restaurant as well. So if you're a party of people, they can certainly accommodate you. This is the entrance to the stunning Casino Royale. And um, yeah, certainly has makes an entrance when you go in. So many slot machines. Um, and then there's the gaming tables. We'll go, let's go and have a look. I'll show you as we go through. Casino is closed today because it's um, support day. We are in Noonia today. They've got a, a full size bar here. Um, and they'll do cocktails and, and all your normal, normal drinks. But it's actually, it's quite a nice bar just to sit around anyway. It's really bright. Okay, down the center of the casino, we've got the, um, this is where all the tables are. So they've got about four roulette tables. The other side are the, uh, the blackjack tables. Yep, they're always really popular. And then we have at the back here a craps table. Now, I don't know how to play craps. We maybe learn one day, actually, because uh, it looks a really interesting game. Down at the other end of the casino, there's some more slot machines. It's, uh, it's, it's a, a neon paradise. Next up is the music hall. This also doubles up as the disco in the evening. I'll show you, this is on two levels. This absolutely rocks. This is also the venue for most of the uh, trivia and the quizzes yes, and the, yes. um, yeah, those uh, game show events that they hold. So it has a proper stage for the band that comes on. Um, they have different bands playing here and a, a nice sized dance floor, not too big. So when people get on there, Everybody just joins in because it feels quite, quite cosy and you're not on display. And then there's the upper floor there. This has a fabulous bar in here um, with these, look at this, look at the back of these seats. So the seats, the seats are like a corset, red leather corset. Um, and people, you can sit around the bar here and it's really, really, it's great. Yeah, you can just sit around and watch the music and watch people dance or get up and join in yourself. We are now on deck four, and this is the Royal Theatre. It, if I say huge again, please forgive me, but this is huge. I keep saying everything is huge on here, but it is. And it's, it's a massive ship. It's bigger than we've ever been on. It's spectacular. Now, the stage, the stage is, is a really big, proper, full-size stage, and it also has those um, stage doors that open up, so they can, do, they can do some of the spectacular sights where people come up from the floor and then go down. 
This is on two levels. There is a show on every night and it's on twice. The Diamond Club, now we're not Diamond members so we can't go in here, but it's a special lounge dedicated um, purely for Diamond Club. So members. you need your key pass to get in mm. and you can't even see it. How we very can't even mean know. of them. You can't even nose in because the windows are frosted. We can't even have a nosy. I know. Never mind. We'll keep very special. We'll keep travelling Royal Caribbean. We might get there one day and then we'll <laughs> show you a video of the Diamond <laughs> Lounge. <laughs> Deck 4 sees the, um, the upper floor of the music hall. This, so you can, from up here, you can then see the, the band on the stage or join in with the quizzes. And they have their own bar up here as well. It's a nice bar. And they also have the pool tables. So there's uh, three or four of these these pool tables. Um, they're, they're all complimentary. Around this particular venue, I think there's two or three of these screens. So if you're at the back and you can't actually see the um, stage, you can see the stage on the screen from here. And look what I've just spotted. This is the first. You can sit at the bar if you're in a wheelchair. I've never seen that before. Isn't that fantastic? The service, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can join your friends to sit at the bar or get your service from here. What a fantastic touch. On deck four also is the Esplanade that has all the shops on it. Now, we're just going to whiz through this because we'll do a separate video on that. But let's take a quick run through. So, Body and Beauty has big names. Yeah. Clarins, Esther Lauder, Lancome. Yep. They're, they're close today because we're in port, but like you say, we'll try and do a separate uh, video on the shopping. Check out this artwork. Prince and Green, that's sort of ethnic style. Um, mugs, bags. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, Aboriginal designed uh, items in this shop, isn't there? Yes. The collection, this is uh, sunglasses and, um, and crystals. Actually, there is a separate sunglass uh, shop on the other side. I think it's called the Sunglass Shop. Luxury leather for handbags. Um, they've actually got the shoes as well in here, which, um, considering I've just broken a pair of mine, I might be might the be Bali shoes at. with 30% off. Mmm. Then we've got um, Beauty Avenue. This is all the, um, so the other one was sort of the, the fragrances. This is now the makeup side of things. Um, we're just passing the music hall. That does double up as the disco um, after, it's after about 12.30. Disco, showing our age there, darling. Nightclub, I think it's called these days. <laughs> <laughs> Although they do play disco music. They do, they do. This is a favourite, this is so good. We'll do all the bars separately and show you what, how they're buzzing in night time. This must be the main, sort of the most popular venue on the entire ship, I think. It's, yes, um, yes. It's a proper, proper old-fashioned pub. Let's go and have a look. And you can get pub grub in here as well. But that's extra, you have to pay for that. Nice big bar and lots of bar stools. This is the little area where um, the musicians play, but it's really effective. It's not it's even a dance floor here, but everybody treats it like a big dance floor. Carrying on with the shops, we've got the wat watches shops, and we've got some fine jewellery over here. We've got, uh, what have we got there? We've got Citizen, we've got Bulgari, we've got Tiso. They do lots of specials each day where they'll do um, Lucky raffle drawers, and then they'll tell you about the different jewellery that they've got. Um, no obligation to buy. Just to the side of the Harp and Horn pub is the ever so popular Sorrento's. This is pizza by the slice. Complimentary, part of your food package. This is so popular. Um, they've started to do the pizzas already and it's 10.30 in the morning. This stays open until after one o'clock in the evening. It's a favourite after everybody's been partying all night. This is Cafe Promenade again, carrying on down the Royal Esplanade. So this is the food and drink station that never closes. It's open 24-7. You can get um, coffee from here. It's ready-made coffee in the tubs, but it is the uh, Lavazza. 
They will. They have regular milk and skim milk out, but you can ask for your speciality milk behind the counter. You can get, uh, it comes in mugs, um, and they have ice and water, orange juice and um, iced tea as well available. Next to Cafe Promenade is Coach. Um, the, uh, I think that's handbag and leather goods, if I recall. And then the Royal Caribbean branded shop. On the other side is Port Merchants and then La Patisserie. La Patisserie is another um, food and drink venue. That's not an alcohol this drink, it's is a very La Patisserie. And, uh, Here you get your specialty coffees. They're included in your drinks package if you have one. Otherwise, they are. Yay! <laughs> How you going, guys? Otherwise, they're about five, five, six, seven dollars. Port Merchants is the duty-free liquor, alcohol store. Again, close today because we're in port. Down the centre of the Esplanade, there are these centre consoles here. This is where they'll have the bargains of the day put out for you. So keep an eye out for those. Some of them have been really, really good. Just past the shops that we've just walked through, we've come to um, Bolero's. This is another bar. This is where they'll have things like the, um, the jazz band came here. The art auction was in here. This is a beautiful bar. Oh, and they also do the karaoke in here. Let me That's show true, you inside. Yes. We did yes. watch a bit of the karaoke. In fact, I think we've only picked up on the family karaoke so far, but... Um... So this yeah. is another beautiful bar area. Look how lovely the furnishings are. Everything's very soft and cosy. And um, yeah, it, it, it has that really nice cosy feel to it in, in the bars. And I love the way every bar has lots and lots of seating around the bar. Um, if you kind of like that vibe, if you're listening to the live music, I think it's always quite nice to sit at the bar. Across here is... We've got the central yes. staircase that goes up and down, down in the casino where we were before, um, up to deck five. This is probably um, the equivalent of what in other ships you might call the atrium. This is guest services. There are... Hello! <laughs> Very friendly guest services. <laughs> so there are six six stations here, and the queue is controlled. We have a, a controlled queue system going on here, so everybody gets a fair crack at them. Yeah. Um, it's a bit busy at the moment. We we'll might wait for another time. <laughs> deck five. This is my favourite deck of all. It is so beautiful. It's worth just coming down here just to have a look at the corridors. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether we can capture it on camera, but look at this. It's magical. Absolutely enchanting. All butterflies cut up on the screens here. Should we go to the back and make our way forward, I think? Yes. We are in the 270 degrees lounge area and bar and it's called 270 because you have a floor to ceiling window 270 degrees view at the back of the ship i love this area it's absolutely spectacular this isn't the nightclub but it's like a very luxurious nightclub it has three dance floors um, and then it has all these separate seating areas. So you feel like you're um, one of those VIPs that goes to the nightclub where you have your own little sectioned off area. It is fantastic. And look at the lighting here. I wouldn't like to say how much that cost. Mm -hmm. Everything here on this ship is luxe. It just screams quality. Nestled between the art gallery on um, deck five, is the cafe at 270. This just opens up here and it has limited um, breakfast and lunch um, availability. Does do specialty coffee though. Does do specialty coffee. And little seating here and this beautiful um, art gallery, really beautifully laid out. So up here we also have the future cruisers desks. Here, there's quite a lot, isn't there? Mm. So next to the crew, next, cr next to the <laughs> next cruise, 
little little area is Vintages Bar. Now there's no, no music put on here, no bands, um, no piano. This is just where you chill out. They have a cigar station here um, and a beautiful chill out um, bar. It's lovely, like, a, like an old smoking room it looks like. Next to that we've got Jamie's Italian. Um, Let's have a quick look inside. It doesn't look like there's anybody here at the moment. Now we are inside Jamie's restaurant. So this is rustic style Italian. It's really, really nice. Let's have a look. See how rustic it is? Um, they seem to have non-stop videos of old Jamie himself, <laughs> which... Um, self-promotion. There's nothing wrong with self-promotion. This comes at a price. This, this is, is one of the specialty restaurants. This is one of the specialties. Across the way, and again, it's one of the shops that's closed at the moment, is Exquisite. Again, Upper uh, Market, Bulgari, sunglasses, that sort of thing. And we are back now to this gorgeous entrance to the Royal Esplanade. Here's the short excursions desks here. A lot of this is self-serve. This is the Bionic Bar. I have never seen anything like this before, either on land or on a ship. Check it out. What it is, is there is an area here and two robots that make your drinks for you. It's fantastic. So you get um, an iPad, you zap your card on it and you select your drink and the robots will make it for you. Here on the side here, they'll tell you your current wait time. Um, how many people are in the queue and then it's got the most popular cocktails based on age so well we're not 70 they've got 70 year olds at the moment 80 year olds okay so 80 year olds are really into Shirley Temples and Long Island iced tea and sex on the beach would you believe it Never too old. <laughs> <laughs> they also do non-alcoholic cocktails as well. These robots are pretty good. This is a nice nosy bar as well because this has seating right along the edge and this is where you can overlook the esplanade on deck four and check out what's going on. Just watch the world going by. Well, right now what they're about to do is put up the balloons for the balloon drop for 2023. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> This is Izumi Bar, all things Japanese sushi. All handmade at the back here by a skilled chef. Hello. Hello. Master chef. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not part of your package. You have to pay for this. Yes, this is special to dining. But I, I love this kind of stuff. So I'm going to give this a go and says, Robert, we're going to have a try of this later on. Um, very simply laid out. We're now coming up to the um, Wonderland. Wonderland. I am so excited. We are booked in here for dinner tomorrow night. We'll do a separate video on the Wonderland experience. So Wonderland I'm not going to give too much away. Kind but... of Alice in Wonderland theme. <laughs> and this is imaginative cuisine. So if you can think of um, Heston Blumenthal, that kind of thing where, you know, you have it smoking and things on ice and um, tasty soil, <laughs> like mushrooms in a tasty soil that's all edible. That's the kind of vibe that's going on here. Even the desk, look at this, the desk is the, it's the queen's finger, I think, <laughs> with the ruffle, mm -hmm. pointing you in. Should we go and see if we can see it in the daylight? Yes. It might be quite different in the day. Look at this. This is a glorious restaurant inside. It's very much this kind of the grey, white and black theme with a touch of the purple. Um, all the chairs are different. I love this, where all the chairs are different and big and extravagant. It looks stunning. I can't wait to come in here. As we move along, we are now going into the schooner bar. Look at these. I love these. So these are kind of little, little figures, hello. hello. Little guys that do, they draw on the, on the glass. Look, they do their own little drawings and then they rub it out. It's so cool. So they do some of the um, quizzes in here. This is the piano bar. Um, piano bar is always one of our favorites, just to get, just to hang out. For, this is the schooner bar, hello. So in the schooner bar, they have um, this little baby grand piano. Um, now, the people we have seen play on here knock out a great tune. Uh, really nice chill-out area. Um, 
yeah, it has a really nice vibe in here if you just want to get away from all that music and dancing, but it's still quite lively. Um, next door to this is the Chops Grill. Yeah, let's see if we can get into Chops Grill. Um, they do open for lunch, I believe, so it may be that they are or, or are not open. Again, selection of food here. This is another one of the specialty restaurants. This is Chops Grill. This is one of the specialty restaurants, so you will pay extra for this one. The ambience, the decor in this is another stunning dining um, yes, experience. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It looks like a top restaurant in London, actually, to me. I imagine this is going to be quite low lighting in here. Um, but yeah, this looks, looks a treat. We're now going to move on to the photo gallery. This style of gallery is the way most of the ships are going to go from now on. So they don't print out all the photographs. Um, it's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more eco-friendly. Eco um, by not having them printed out. So you select them on screen, you can flick through, um, select which ones you want, and then they'll get them printed for you. There's always package deals on, so it's worth asking um, when the package deals are on. They're quite often offered at the beginning of the cruise, but we have negotiated during cruises as well. If you have any trouble with any of the equipment here or finding your photographs, um, there's an assistance desk at the back and also in the, uh, the Photoshop, it looks like they actually sell some tech as well. Uh, again, with any ship, it's, it's limited tech. Um, they've got some of those Instamatic cameras and um, they're advertising GoPro. I'm not sure whether they sell a GoPro, but they're advertising it. <laughs> and back at the front of the ship now at the Royal Theatre again, the upper deck of the Royal Theatre. Yeah, so this is the upper deck of the Royal Theatre. If, um, if you can get a uh, seat at the front, you would have a spectacular view of the stage from up here. So on deck six, the upper floor of the 270 degree lounge um, entertainment area is the library just tucked away in the corner. Um, it's a beautiful area with uh, floor to ceiling windows. Uh, nice and light and sunny and um, really nice soft furnishings for you to come and chill out and uh, read a book. As long as there's no events on, because it's absolutely above the It's not the cordoned off at all. Degree. Yes, so you will hear the quizzes going on and you will hear the music. Um, so you might have to find a quieter spot if that bothers you when you're um, playing games. There's sort of Scrabble, um, there's chess, there's people playing cards here. What you may find useful, I don't know, is um, there's about four computers here, but there's also a printer. Um, I don't know what you'd use the printer for, maybe if you want to print out some Thanks. colouring things for your kids or something like that maybe, um, or yeah, separate quizzes let's online. Take a walk yeah. Here is the internet. Terminals? Yeah, for, for computers and printer, mm. although let's see if there's any paper. Oh, yes, there's paper in there. Yeah, yeah for computers. A community bulletin board if you've got an event that is going on um, that's a bank card and, yeah so you can fill out a card if you've got an event you want to have a meet up, meet up and put it on there so there's it is a delightful little area and the cafe is just around the corner for you to grab a coffee cake and a biscuit or um, a deli sandwich so that's nice to have and the art gallery is just further around the corner there that's the only thing is it gets noisy. <laughs>